This is 55 TV and we're in Camden at the Camden Record Club. It's the first time I've been here. It's actually quite a nice location. How are you doing? I'm a little jaded, but I'm good. You don't look jaded. I've heard you've been on... Uh, was it recently, this weekend, you've been on a mad one? Oh, God. Uh, yes, I had a great weekend. I was... Uh <laughs> with the Mambo Brothers. Never go out with the Mambo Brothers with the, without a spare liver. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds fun. No, it was great. Uh, we were in Chamonix uh, doing Mambo on the Piste and uh, yeah, it was great. It was really lovely. And did you ski as well? Well, yeah. Uh, I, I actually live uh, in Scotland and the French Alps. Okay. I, I go between the two places, so I'm a bit of a snowboarder. Well, congratulations. I love my skin. You've got the end of the season now, haven't you? Just missed it. You've got the end of it. Yeah, I mean, it's done. I mean, it's really, it's pretty warm out there now. It's it's uh, spring, really. Yeah. Um, great to see you. This is where we're with Chicane, and um, you've got some new material coming out. I mean, you've got, like, quite a few albums under your belt, and you've got some huge global hits from, you know, the last nearly 20 years now. How's that feel? Um... Uh, it's kind of it, it, yeah. It, it's 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 lovely, but it's also um, you know sometimes I think people refer to you as as like a heritage act or, mm. or some some crap like that. And actually, I'd like to think um, you know still producing very current and forward thinking material. So I mean, um, it, it's great it's great to have that. But you know, I'm, I, I spend a lot of time trying to still do you know be be current and be 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 kind of um, creative and, and actually uh, something fresh you know I, I'm you know this I mean I, well, I, my first record was 1996 you know so uh, it's great to look back but you know I, I, I kind of like to look forward sure. um, you come from a period when music was a lot of freer uh, well, it, there was constraints of record label but you actually made money from it a lot more I suppose it's freer now of the internet but you know, it was a completely different time back then than it is now. What are your views on that? Uh, yeah, I was just talking about this earlier, actually. I mean, um, you can't just be the guy and knocks out a tune from the studio. You know, it's a multifaceted situation, you know. Uh, you, you've got to be doing all your social media and, and, and you know, I run the record company as well. So, like, you know, you have to have uh, many heads. and. I don't know whether that is actually particularly a great thing, you know, you don't want to be a jack of, a jack of all trades, master of none, you know, uh, um, and the landscape of music and how we buy and sell music has changed so much, you know, and uh, frankly music somehow got devalued, you know, it's kind of, you know, I, I know people were bootlegging and doing all that sort of business, but I mean, that's kind of not w what I mean, you know, I mean, um, Various companies who should remain nameless right now <laughs> uh, kind of thought we were, we're, we're going to play that for a piece of music or we'll, we'll stream music and you know uh, so it's kind of it's it's changed and you, you you've got to be on your money and you you've got to you've got to adapt or, or, or die really yeah sure I think across the whole of the art industry everything is just so disposable. Whereas, you know, 20 years ago, things had a longevity in it, music yeah. or literature or magazines. I mean, things are so much disposable now. How do you feel about things being disposable? And, and especially music can be really disposable and just generic. Yeah, it's a curious thing. Uh, I, I mean, um, somehow, I, I, you know, um, you go into a supermarket and you buy a packet of crisps. That packet of crisps is... Ha, has increased in price as has everything else but for some reason music has gone the other way and also film and media become uh, I don't know um, I didn't want to sound jaded and, and, and dull and old but um, uh, you're not no but I mean it, it's it, a great experience uh, it's um, wisdom I like, wisdom, <laughs> I like wisdom, to yeah. think of it um, <laughs> I, I don't know uh, we seem to have I don't know gone through a period where there's this kind of fascination with, with the new and fast and everything must be quick and uh, the attention span. Um, everything seems to be just, uh, I, I don't know, it rushed and, and, and quick and fast. I mean, rather than, you know, we've lost albums. Absolutely. People cherry pick, yeah. you know, which is kind of... 
I mean, cherry picking says exactly what it is. You, you, you know, you're picking the best bits. And for me, I mean, I write albums, you know, they have a beginning, a middle, and an end, and, and that's kind of gone. Oh, God, I sound really jaded now. No, you don't at all. <laughs> no, I'm with you on that. Kids, you know, we remember when there was albums and, you know, yeah, longevity kids. and stuff. Yeah. Come on, wake up. Um, okay, talk to me about the new album that you've put together and, and how's the working process been on that? Because obviously it's different to when you were, you know, 20 yeah. years ago now. Well, I'm broken. Right? No, no, I'm broken. Uh, <laughs> That was, uh, no, that's just the weekend you've had. Uh, <laughs> You'll be back on well, next Wednesday. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll be all right tomorrow. Um, uh, yeah, so just I'm sort of on the final furlong, just trying to finish finish it off. And um, yeah, kind of kind of very excited about this yeah. album. Uh, more 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 so than than previous ones. You know, I'm not. Why just, would you say that? Is then? Uh, I'm just on top of my game at the minute. You okay. know, you don't. You know. As a writer, sort of producer, you know, you always want to be there, mm. uh, and uh, and sometimes you always think your la your most recent thing is your best thing. You know, it's it's not like that. Um, I've been working on this probably for a year and a half so far. This album and um, it just it, it feels really good, and I managed to do some collaborations with various people that I've really wanted to. I'm, most notably, um, Lisa Gerrard, who people don't realise who she is, but she's. Um, she is the voice and the writer of the theme music to Gladiator, the film. Um, and uh, a man, she's epic. It's phenomenal. There's some stuff. There's some stuff which isn't necessarily big commercial uh, daytime radio s stuff uh, on the album, which is some of my best work. So I'm kind of really excited about it. And um, we're leading off with the first single, which is called No More I Sleep which is possibly the most apt title of all time right now. <laughs> I really, I, I'm in need of some considerable kip, my friends, uh, as I've been, I've uh, just been snipping away, and, you know, getting to bed at four, getting up at seven, right. you know. Um, Doesn't it get easier though as you get a bit older? Um, that's, a, that's a complete lie, and you know. <laughs> <laughs> it is, that is a lie, kids. Enjoy it while you're young. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, so I mean, um, Genuinely excited. Just shot the video for the new single. Right. Which Where got, was that shot? Uh, just around the corner. Okay. Um, and um, uh, it's got Chris Marshall mm -hmm. starring in it, uh, who uh, the guy from the BT ads and BBC One's Death in Paradise, I think it's. Right. Uh, he's kind of a he's, he's a skier, he's a mate of mine, and um, we've done a hilarious video. Yeah. It's it's blinding. So um, it's, there's so much going on. Great, great. Um, before we go. You're in that period of time, oh, which are we is going? Are we well, going? we're going somewhere. We're going out in a bit. Uh, you're in that period of time, which is really changed for the kids clubbing and going out and enjoying themselves. I mean, every, people are stuck behind their computers enjoying themselves. What they're doing, I don't know. But um, reminisce on me what it was like for you when you were, you know, in the early 90s or even late 80s, possibly. La leave it. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Um. Yeah, it was kind of, I mean... You can't really remember, can you? It was, it, it was that It was that good, it, it slipped away. No, I mean, um, yeah, music was a bit freer and, and, a bit, and a bit different. You know, it was the M25 rave generation. Yeah, sure. And uh, I, I remember, I remember that whole lot. I, I remember an awful lot of badly made records as well. You know, I remember all the... I think nostalgia thinks it was all good, but there was some terrible stuff as well, wasn't there? Yeah, you need to look, need to look back... <laughs> without the rose tinted yeah, glasses yeah. yeah uh you know i can remember you know the thing you know prodigy and stuff where you know it was all pretty but it was it was kind of rough and ready and and, uh, and i remember hard you know hardcore you know i mean it, and jungle emerging and all, all, all those sort of things and and going to clubs and sort of impromptu raves and stuff uh, and i was kind of that doesn't really exist anymore. You're oh God, no, that's, very, that's totally gone. Very overly produced. But I was, I, I'm basically a musician that's been shanghaied into dance music. Right. So back then I was kind of, you know, I, I was classically trained in all that, uh, and all that guff. But um, and I was kind of, I immersed myself in the sort of the dance culture and sort of trying to work out, how, you know, watching what goes on and, uh, and trying to, you know, and I, I just got kind of uh, caught up in the whole thing and. Yeah. and more, one, one in another ways. Yeah, it has, it's never let me go. Yeah, sure, great. Right. Back in the day. Uh, good. Um, it's great to see you. We look forward to the album coming out, the new track that's coming out quite soon as well. 
End of May, I think. End of May, so very, very soon. Um, this is 55 TV. This is Shukran. This is Chris, and I'm off. I'm out here. Bye-bye. Ciao.